Hi, I'm Mabasa Elvis, professional nurse at Bosmoon Clinic. Uh, as we are confronted with COVID-19, uh, this year we have changed our operation, but all the services are going on as normal. We are uh, doing all the services, immunization, family planning, uh, chronic, sick, all emergencies. But the only difference is that when a patient comes with uh, signs and symptoms of COVID, we screen them separately and then they follow a protocol uh, or the guideline uh, that is stipulated by the government and then we test them accordingly. Daily we can test up from 15 up to 20 patients and then those who are sick are isolated and then they are referred accordingly. But uh, uh, all in all is that we are also following the social distancing, sanitization. If there is a case in the clinic, we make sure that the clinic is fumigated and sanitized. Since April 2020, uh, to date, we have tested about 862 patients. At the gate, the security directs the patient to the triage sister. The triage sister will then decide whether the patient is supposed to go to the blue area or the orange area. The blue area is for patients that are coming for their normal routines, like family planning, uh, immunizations for babies, chronic medication. Those patients are not patients that are showing signs and symptoms of COVID, and they are not coughing. However, if the patients are coughing and they're showing signs of COVID-19, we refer them to the orange area where there are these uh, red chairs, where they sit and wait to be screened, fully screened, and then there is a decision that is made whether to test them or not. After they are screened and it is established that they may be a suspect for COVID, they are taken to the army tent. We call it the army tent. It's the tent that is provided for COVID. They go there and then they get tested. If it happens that the patient comes in and is very sick, they cannot wait here. We send them into the tent. They go into what is called an isolation corner where the sister will monitor their temperature again because the temperature is first done at the gate by the security and they are being sanitized. The sister here will monitor their temperature and will provide oxygen. There's an oxygen uh, tank there and a bed. And then further arrangements are made to transfer the patient to the hospital. The patient is transported to the hospital in a COVID ambulance. It's a specially made uh, ambulance for COVID patients only. To say I'm grateful to our Department of Health for providing us with PPE. Uh, we have enough PPE for the staff. We never run short uh, to the community out there. Thanks for supporting us. Thanks for adhering to the rules when you come to the facility and they say you must put on a mask, you put on a mask, you must social distance yourself, you do that. We would like to say thank you to our Bosmont community and to our staff members for braving the cold, for braving uh, uh, the COVID and coming in, even though we have cases uh, from staff members, but they are always on duty. They go for quarantine, they come back and they work.